His visor includes a rich and powerful coloring capability. Let's see how it works. In this example, uh, we're looking at a set of customers, and there's roughly 12,000 customers. Uh, we're looking at them on this grid from low to high revenue, and low to high margin. So these would be high revenue, um, low margin accounts. Uh, these would be uh, low revenue, high margin accounts, and so forth. We group them over here by uh, region, west, south, midwest, and east by industry. So we've added up the revenue of all of the accounts in this database and, and put them in these bar charts. And down here, we're looking at response to a campaign. Uh, the yes responders are roughly, uh, you can see the percent, 10.2% of the population. The no responders are roughly 89.8% of the population. Right now, color is set to region. The scale shows that the east is blue, the midwest is green, the south is yellow, and the west is orange. We're using a rainbow scale. And uh, it's clear uh, that shows patterns of behavior. For example, the red, you can see are most of the higher revenue uh, customers out in this region. I can see up in this top, which is my low revenue but highest margin customers, I've got combinations of blue and green and yellow, the, uh, the other regions. I can click on a region in the bar chart, and I'll see where it is in the scatter plot. Click on the south. I have very different profiles of uh, revenue and profit across these customers uh, determined by where they are, and the color shows that. The other thing it shows is in the response to the gold bundle, uh, the, the yes wedge of the pie chart is heavily blue, uh, which is the east, which shows that the east are much more represented as yes responders. Uh, there's some green, some red, but no yellow. There's no south yes responders to my campaign. So color, set this way, gives me some real clues to what's going on with my customer base. Color can be set to other metrics. So I have a pull down. I can set color to any of the fields in the table. Uh, here I've got it in a region. Let's shift it to industry and see what happens. So now I've reset the color. My scale has reassigned color from blue, uh, uh, the, the A, into red. You'll see in a minute I can reset the color any way I want, but the standard color scale applied uh, in a range uh, across. And you can see this bar chart is now colored by industry. And the regions are now also colored by industry. And I can see something like I have a little more red in the Midwest, which is scientific and technical transportation utilities. I can see I've got some of the hotter colors are more represented in the yes. So these industries are more represented as yes responders. Um, it looks like, you know, so we get some patterns. I can also see in the scatter plot up in here, I've got a lot of this light blue, which tends to be the, um, uh, the groups up here. And in fact, I can click on some of these agriculture, construction, energy, see where they are, click on a specific field. Um, you know, agriculture spreads that way. And I can quickly get another field. For example, finance and insurance is down, tends to be the lower margin, quite a spread, uh, heavily more in the west, not responding to my campaign. So I gathered another insight by shifting the color from region um, to industry. I might do one more thing and maybe shift and look at margin. Shift the margin percent. And clearly, uh, the margin is now the cooler color is low, the uh, hotter color is the higher margin. It, it lays out across a scatter plot linearly because that's how it's been set. But I get some clues that, boy, it looks like by margin my responders are fairly equal. By industry, it looks like I've got more red, which is higher margin in construction. I can see that quite a way. It looks like government's a little higher margin. It looks like uh, healthcare is maybe a little lower margin. It looks like I'm fairly consistent by region. So a couple of things here. Um, by shifting the dimension by which you color, you can gain key insights out of the data. Now another thing I could do is change the color scale. I've been working with, let's put it back on um, region, a rainbow scale. Uh, the product comes with some standard other scales. For example, I could shift to a pastel color scale. It's going to reassign the color. Uh, a, a different color scale uh, to the, in this case, region, and recolor all the charts with the pastel color scale. And some people prefer one scale, some people prefer another. We have provided a flexible environment where you can uh, use any of these scales. You can also create your own color scales. Let's take a look at that. Task view, the color workshop. Uh, this gives me the capability to um, set color a variety of ways. For example, it comes with the standard scales, but we've created a reverse rainbow scale. If I edit this, you see the capability. I can spread a, an array of colors any way I want, and it will assign from low to high in the sequence. That's a range color scale. I can also create bin scales. For example, this CB rating scale was set. Let's take a look at it. 
the, the start values here, there are strings, this could be numbers, but I've assigned specific colors to specific ranges of a scale. And in this case, we wanted the uh, unrated to be this blue-violet. And we set a rating scale where the higher rated one were hotter colors, and the uh, lower rated eight, and I think this might go down to nine or something, are, are the, the blue end of the spectrum. Now, again, you can reassign the color in here if I want to change this to make this, instead of red, make it yellow, for example. Now the charts on all the pages will update to the new, new color. Um, and so what we've shown here is the capability to assign color to different metrics uh, and then create a range of scales with the ability to create your own custom scales to show your data in the way your team is either used to it or the way that's most impactful for the insights you're trying to garner out of your information. Uh, thank you very much.